Hi everyone, my name is Melissa Doverstein. I'm a Penn State Certified Group Fitness Instructor with Penn State Campus Recreation Fitness and Wellness. We know your schoolwork and work are super important, but so is your mental and physical wellness. So I put together a core uh, workout video for you, so hopefully you enjoy. A few things before we get started. Remember, social distancing is always important. We want you to wear comfortable clothes. You could start and stop the video at any time. If you ever feel dizzy or uncomfortable, please stop working out. Disinfect your equipment if you're using it. I'm using a workout mat. And just try to have fun and you can cue your own music to this workout and whatever works out for you. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I just want you to sit in an Indian style or with your legs folded on top of each other. It doesn't matter as long as you feel comfortable. We're just gonna kind of loosen up our upper back right now. So let's just take some nice big shoulder rolls. Let's just do some forward rolls. Feel those shoulder blades come apart and together. One more this way. And then let's go back. One more. And as you roll this one, I want you to roll those shoulders over those hips. Chin up, open up that chest, and feel your belly button come into your spine, okay? I just want you to take a few minutes here. You can close your eyes, you can completely zone out. You're just gonna focus on that core, okay? Again, pulling that belly button into your spine. And as you take a nice big breath in, you expand your rib cage. Exhale, you're gonna come back in. So just take a few minutes here. Really focus on what you're doing. Let any outside distractions escape you right now. Think about a string on top of your head pulling you up to the ceiling and elongate that spine. How about one breath cycle here? One more. Great work. We're going to start out today in a quad position, so I want you to swing your legs back and come into all fours. That's your quad position, okay? We're going to place those shoulders over those wrists. I know you can't see mine, but they're there. And your hips over those knees, okay? And I want you to pull that belly button into your spine. As we go forth with these exercises, I want you to think about a book balancing on your back, okay? So we're going to breathe in. And then we're going to exhale and let one arm and the opposite leg go, elongating your body, reaching your fingertips and your toes for the walls of the room or the neighbors if you're outside, and inhale back in. And then exhale that other arm and leg out, balancing here, using that core to balance, like in that elbow, and bring it back in. Inhale, and then exhale. Just start going at your own pace here. Think about getting longer each time you extend your arm and leg. There's no right or wrong way. Just focus in on what you're doing. I'm going to do three more cycles at your own pace on each side and return into that tabletop position when you're finished. Returning to that tabletop, nice and strong. You might need to readjust yourself. Pull that belly button into that spine if you forgot about it. Slight bend in those elbows. That book is balancing on your back. As we extend one arm and leg out, reaching for the walls of the room or your neighbor area. We're going to inhale, bringing that elbow to the end, and then exhaling out, okay? Looking straight ahead. Six inches in front of you. Let's do four more here. And returning to tabletop when you're finished. Let's take a nice inhale here. As we exhale, the other arm and leg out, balancing, use that core to help you balance, that foot balancing on your back, inhale and 
exhale. Breathe through your nose, out through your nose and mouth. Okay, go at your own pace. How about we try four more here? Last one. Back to that tabletop position. And let's do a nice inhale. And let's just exhale a child's pose. Get those shoulders a rest. Forehead to mat. Keep sway back and forth. Whatever you want to do. Let's inhale here. Back up to that tabletop position. And from here, we're going to go to a plank, okay? So we're already in that high plank position. So you can extend your legs out, coming into a nice strong plank, straight line from head to toe. You can always come down to your elbows. Make sure those shoulders are over those elbows. I'm going to stay up in high plank. And also, you can come down to your knees, okay? So lots of options here for you. And let's just hold this for 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job down to your knees. You can extend back again into that child's pose. Inhaling and exhaling. We're going to do that plank one more time, okay? Inhale here. And exhale up. Again, choose the plank that works for you. We're going to hold it here again for 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Awesome job. Knees down. Child's pose. Walk those fingertips out. Stretch that upper back and shoulders. Inhaling and exhaling. So we're going to inhale up here. Exhale, sweep those legs around. We're going to do some exercises in that two five position on your back, okay? So I want you to bend your knees, extend those arms, shoulders over those hips. Remember, keep that airway open, chin open, and we're going to inhale. As you exhale, one more great time down ever so gently like a string of pearls. Arms go overhead. I'm going to slide myself down on the back here so you can see me a little bit better. Okay. We're going to do some roll-ups here. So we're basically just peeling ourselves off the mat. Okay. We're going to inhale here. Chin to chest. Rise up. As you exhale forward. Inhale up. Chin to chest. Exhale down. Again, one vertebra at a time. Ever so gently. You're really resisting on the way down. And we're just going to come right back up. Inhale up. Exhale. Over. Inhale up. Exhale. Resist. Let's try four more roll-ups here for you, okay? push-up. You want to bend your knees, not a problem. Again, go at your own pace, your own flow. Own modifications, whatever works for you. Okay, two more left. Yeah, one more to do, finish it out before you're already done. You just lay on the mat thinking about some putting your arms and legs in the opposite direction. And just breathe. Think about that spine glued to that mat, that belly button glued to that spine. Inhale and exhale. Okay, we're going to bend our legs. We're going to bring it to a tabletop position. We're going to bring our hands behind our head. And we're just going to do a crisscross, okay? Shoulder to knee, shoulder to knee. Keep that airway open. Think about a piece of fruit in between your chest. You go faster than me or slower than me. 
I want you to think about a bowl of water on your belly. You don't want that water to spill out. Let's do eight more. Eight. Seven. Four. Almost done. Three. Two. And one. Bring it in. You're going to rest that head and back back. Okay, now we're going to lift those legs up to the ceiling. We're going to grab above or below that knee. You can keep your shoulder blades on or off the mat. Totally up to you. We're just going to switch. Switch. Still think about a bowl of water on your belly. You don't want that water to spill out. Keep that airway open. Your legs can go as far down as you feel comfortable with. Two, five, four, three, two, last one, great work, bring it in. We're going to do those crisscrosses again, take a breath here, inhale and exhale. Back to that tabletop position, hands behind your head, airway open, and when you're ready, go for it. Shoulder to knee. You got that bowl of water on your belly, you don't want that water to spill out. Great work. Keep on going. You got this. Almost done. Five. Four. Three. Two, and last one. Bring it in. Relax. Inhale and exhale. We're going to do those legs up in the air again. Again, grabbing a bubble below that knee. Show the legs on or off the mat. Whatever works for you. And when you're ready, you can join me. In. In. Great work. We got this. Two, five, four, three. One more each side. Great work. Bring it in. So close to being done. We have one more move left, which is my favorite move. It's a snow angel or double leg crunch. I'm going to show you two options here, okay? We're going to be in tabletop position, hands on your shins, shoulder blades on or off the mat, up to you. you swing your arms overhead, dip your toes on the mat, and bring it in, or you're extending that leg, okay? Your legs. So you choose your option. We're going to do two sets of eight with a quick break in between, okay? And when you're ready, you go ahead and get started, okay? Still thinking about that bowl of water on your belly. You don't want that water to spill out. Nice even breaths here. Six. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Bring it in. Rest. Inhale and exhale. We have one more set of eight. And then we are done. Okay, think we're ready. Get into whatever position. Get ready with your mind. And let's do eight of these. Eight. Four. Extend those legs, arms overhead. Inhale and exhale. Let's 
Inhale. And exhale. Come over here. Let's do a quick spinal twist. Put that palm down. Bring one arm to the outside part of your knee. Opposite arm. You're looking in that direction. And just twist. And bring it back in. Let's just do the other side. And bring it back in. Okay, let's extend our hands over our head. We're going to do a half a roll to come back up. And then we're just going to do quick back. And then we're done. Inhale here. And exhale up. Great work. You can fit in a quick little hamstring stretch if you would like. We're going to swing our legs to the back. And we're going to lay down on the mat in prone position. Your hands are right by your chest. We're looking six inches ahead of us. And we're going to lift up and down. Just feel that back engage as you lift it up and down. Nothing should hurt. Let's do four more here. Okay, let's now do a lower back. We're just going to lift your legs up and down. Okay, feeling that lower back engage. Four, three, two, and one. Rest. Now we're going to do upper and lower back together, okay? Lifting up and down. Not using the mat to help you get up, just a light breath. Five, four, three. Last one, rest. You're all done with this core workout. Keep your hands by your chest. Take a nice big breath in. As you exhale up, just a little stretch for that back and forth. Or keep your forearms on the mat and get a stretch there. You can come back just how we were in the beginning of class, Indian style, or However you feel comfortable with. Thanks for joining me today. Let's take just some nice two cleansing breaths here. Bring your arms to your side and inhale up. And exhale. One more time. Inhale up. And exhale. Thanks so much for joining today from my basement. I hope that helps you out. And check out so many videos that us fitness instructors are putting together for you. Thanks a lot.